Monza, also known as the Temple of Speed. Who is then the High Priest of Monza? I need to stop with those jokes. Hello, in this video we will see who is the most successful driver on Monza and during that we will learn a few facts about the track and the Italian Grand Prix. But as usual, first the basics. Current point system, so 25 for first, 18 for second and so on. Fastest lap included, of course. Last time no one asked about that, so looks that you're listening to me and not skipping the intro. Now some talking over moving numbers and bars. The event, Italian Grand Prix, featured in all Formula 1 seasons, 72 so far. But 71 races were held at Monza. In 1980 the track was under some redevelopments and Imola hosted the Italian GP that year. It is known as the Temple of Speed, due to big speeds that are achievable on the track, not only on straights but also in corners. Nowadays, average speed during the race is around 260 km per hour, and during the V10 era cars were going around 370 km per hour on the straights. During the course of the lap, Formula 1 drivers have their throttle fully open for almost 80% of the time. Due to all that facts, races at Monza are the quickest one in the season, and the race now takes little over 1 hour and 15 minutes, where usually we are used to hour and a half plus at other tracks. To show how the margins are small at Monza due to the high speeds, in 1971 there was the recorded closest F1 finish of a race up to date. Peter Gethin won by one hundredth of a second before Ronnie Peterson and whole top 5 was covered only by 0.61 seconds. If you blinked you would miss it. But with the high speeds there is also a high price. Many fatal accidents that happened on the track over the years. I will mention only few famous names. In 1955 Alberto Ascari died during private testing, place where he crashed is now named after him, Varianta Ascari. In 1961, Wolfgang von Trips, first German ever to win a race. He collided with Jim Clark at Parabolica and went airborne. He died together with 14 spectators. In 1970, Johann Rindt also died after a crash at Parabolica. In 1978, Ronnie Peterson died in a hospital after a crash during the race start. In its history, track claimed life of 52 drivers and 35 spectators. On a happier note, as track is in Italy, it is obviously always raided by the Tifosi during the race weekends, which are here is a magnificent view. I have not been there myself, but I think if you are a Ferrari fan, I would recommend selecting this race to visit. Or Imola, since F1 is back there as well. Ok, some more facts. During the years track had many different setups, but they all more or less are quite similar. Maybe with one exclusion, of the oval part of the track. Yes, there is an oval in Monza, and of course it is banked, so the road is at angle, inside of the track is lower than the outside. The banked part of the track was used only a few times in Formula 1 history in 50s and 60s. But idea of using this part of the track went to the bin due to safety concerns, as I already told you about fatal accidents at Monza, so it was quite understandable. Few quick words about history. Monza is said to be third built in the world motor racing circuit and first in the mainland Europe. It was hosting many events before World War II. Formula 1 is also not the only category racing at the track. There are endurance races, motorbike races, GT cars and many more. Track is alive almost all year long. Unfortunately for Monza, it is not very lucky when it comes to Italians winning at the venue. Last Italian won there in 1966. Ludovico Scarfiotti. And it doesn't look like it will change in the near future. Of course, depends how you count Mario Andretti, who won in 1977 but officially he was racing for the USA. To sum up, how awesome is the track? It has its own anthem recorded by an Italian rock band. I will leave a link to it in the description. When it comes to numbers, most wins for Schumacher and Hamilton, 5 each. Next are drivers with 3 wins, Fangio, Moss, Peterson, Piquet, Prost, Barrichello and Vettel. For Tifosi's enjoyment, Ferrari has most wins. 
19. Second is McLaren with 11 and third Mercedes with 7. For pole positions, although Schumacher has 5 wins, but only 3 poles, number 1 when it comes to starting from the first place on the grid is Hamilton with 7 poles, second are Fangio and Senna with 5 each. Now let's mention few of the most epic Italian Grand Prix that happened at Monza. I have already spoken about 1971 and the closest F1 finish ever. Let's move on to 1995, which had drama all over the place. David Coulthard, that was on pole, spun off on the formation lap and retired initially, but huge pileup at the start meant a restart and he was allowed back on the grid. Not for long, his wheel bearing failed and had to retire. In the meantime, Hill and Schumacher, who were championship contenders, collided. I mean, Hill ran into Schumacher's back when passing back markers. It also was not the best weekend for Ferrari. They were running first and second when camera from first car flew off and damaged the suspension of second car and the first car had later on wheel braking failure. More than a half of the grid did not finish the race that year. In 1999 Hakinen was in comfortable lead when he made a small error, shifting down to first instead of second gear, which led him to spin off out of the race. From that weekend comes famous photo of him crying in the bushes at Monza. From more recent history, 2008, first win for Sebastian Vettel, who surprisingly took pole position in Toro Rosso in very wet conditions, which also made him youngest pole sitter. Again on Sunday in rain, Vettel comfortably finished the race and scored his first win and only win for Toro Rosso. Similar history in 2020, where Pierre Gasly in Alpha Tauri, formerly Toro Rosso, surprisingly won the race. This time not the weather was the ally of the winner, but fortunate engine failure of Kevin Magnussen's car. Not fortunate for him though. Gasly managed to stop before safety car was deployed and most importantly, pit entry was closed. Due to that closure, Hamilton, who went to pits, received a penalty, which in the long run allowed Gasly to win the race. Did you ever had a chance to attend a race at Monza? Or maybe you are still planning a visit? Leave a comment and let us know. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I have made similar one about Monaco. It will appear in the top right and I will link it in the description. If you like the content, consider subscribing to the channel. You know, that would be nice, but it is your decision. Either way, peace out.